Hey guys, Magnus Robert here bringing you another video and today we're going to be doing another tapped out mini update versus video. Obviously I've done one the other week, last week, round about last week, where we of course versed the two updates, New Year, New You from last year versus Red Alert from this year and we're going to be doing something similar today by versing Springfield Choppers from last year and Hot Diggity Doe from this year. Obviously two events that roughly came out the same time of their respective years. Now I've got a disclaimer I suppose I, I should have said in the first episode and that is that I uh, yes I basically ripped this off from uh, Spring King's little presentation things that he posts in the discord to you know compare various mini updates I thought it was obvious <laughs> so I just I you know I was meant to say something but I just completely forgot to be honest with you so uh, yeah obviously credit to him um, I kind of stole his format a little bit so uh, yeah but my own spin on it of course my own spin on it you know I am I, um, I, uh, I've, I've got it as a cool little presentation instead of uh, his little table. So, um, yeah. So, may as well get into it, I suppose. No point diddy daddling. So, starting off, we've got Super Premium. So, of course, Super Premium, aka stuff that's in store. So, Springfield Choppers gave us Wilbur Nurple in the store, a character who uh, I may or may not have crowned the worst character of the year. And <laughs> Hot Diggity Doe gave us Sergeant Sausage who uh, I may or may not have said I kind of liked. So this one is a bit of a doozy. Obviously, I'm giving the, the winner, the winner, winner chicken dinner to uh, Sergeant Sausage. This is no competition. Wilbur Nurple was such a boring, um, lackluster, kind of random as well character to throw in, especially like in a biker update, essentially, and you're throwing in the, the this bully guy. It, it was so random and, and unrelated. Whereas, uh, you know, Sergeant Sausage, it, he fit with the sausage theme, and um, oh yeah, he was super premium. It was a bit annoying that he was super premium. Would have been cool if he was the free character, uh, either way, I think he was uh, he was very cool, so I somewhat give it a pass. Next up, we have the premium combo. So we have, of course, got Wolf Guy Jack with Greasers, the, or Greasers Bot, Greasers Cafe, is it? Greasers, anyway, uh, from the Springfield Choppers. And, of course, we got Deuce with the Grease Recycling Plant. So, I have issues with both of these guys. Deuce, I thought, was very underwhelming. I wasn't a big fan of his animations. I think his quest line was a bit... wasn't that great. It was like, meh. Uh, and the building he comes with, which is, of course, the Grease Recycling Plant, it's 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 fine, I guess. It makes sense-ish that it, he comes with this because, realistically, you know, he owns a... Uh, you know, a hot dog stand, essentially, or a, kind of like a, it's a, obviously it's a train cart that's been converted into a little restaurant or, a, well, a kitchen, I suppose. Uh, and, uh, you know, it, it makes sense that he would be recycling grease. So I'm, I'm not opposed to the combo itself, but the grease recycling plant, I just think was not scaled correctly. It was scaled far too small for me. I think it really should have been scaled up uh, to like similar to other factories that we have in the game, especially because it looks big in the episode. You know, it looks like a big ass building and you have these big trucks and this doesn't really go against Actually, no, I think this goes against the building, because I think the truck, the truck that we get, the Acne Co. truck, I think that's scaled correctly, uh, and this building is scaled wrong, so, yeah, that's another thing, uh, the truck that is meant to go in this garage is, like, huge, <laughs> almost as big as the building, so, the building is just scaled wrong, uh, and Deuce, I thought, was a bit underwhelming, and then, in terms of Wolf Guy Jack, I think he was... Very mediocre, wasn't great, but he was he wasn't like offensively bad or or amazingly good. He was just kind of middle of the road. I feel uh, I I, I kind of liked parts of his quest lines though, and I, I think he I'm trying to remember his second animation, but his animations were uh, I, I think would say I would say they're above Deuce just ever so slightly. Uh, the Greaser Cafe, I again I think it, it also is a bit small. <laughs> But uh, I really like the colours of the Greaser Cafe. I think it, uh, yeah, it pops out quite nicely. So, yeah, I wasn't, um, wasn't too. Um, I didn't hate that building. I quite like that building. Uh, yeah. So, and which one do I give the winner to? It's a real tricky one. I think they're about on par. So it really just comes down to personal preference, and that for me is Wolf Guy Drac. 
Deuce as a character is definitely a character I wanted more than Wolf Guy Jack, but I think in terms of the translation into the game, uh, for me, it's Wolf Guy Jack. But if you pick Deuce, personally, uh, I don't think I can fault you for that, or don't think I can argue. I think, um, yeah, just for me, I think Deuce was a bit more disappointing, whereas Wolf Guy Jack is pretty mediocre whereas i was expecting more from deuce and maybe that's because i'm hiring i'm i'm trying to hold him at a higher standard but uh so be it <laughs> anyway prize track wise so obviously here are our two prize tracks structure wise um springfield choppers is obviously pretty strong uh you got you know you got your building two de three decorations and a character at the end and then hot doggy dog is a little bit more of the the modern prize track structure where it's a building at the end and uh you know a decoration the characters in the middle of the prize track and a bit one you know two buildings though uh so we're going to be breaking this down in terms of things we're not going to be versing them on terms of the structure uh we're going to be versing them on terms of the actual stuff that we get in said prize track so starting off we've got the characters slash costumes so for here we've got spiro versus dr hot dog um <laughs> so Dr. Hot Dog is just a, a character, like a hallucin hallucination of Dr. Is it Brent? Rendero or something like that, uh, of another basically of another character that hasn't been added to the game yet, which was uh, it's a bit very weird that we got a hallucination of a character we haven't got yet. Uh, so arguably, maybe it could be a costume for said character, but I think I'm okay with them making a tap out exclusive for this kind of you know this little funny Doctor Hot Dog character, especially considering they were doing a basically a hot dog update. Uh, Spiro, obviously. Big character in the episode he is introduced in, and then he's had a few cameos ever since. Um, I like, I, I think he's, again, he's he's very mediocre. He's very middle of the road for me. I, I like him. I don't hate him. But, um, yeah. Although I do like the quirkiness of Dr. Hot Dog. I think that's cool. Uh, for me, it, it, it's tricky. I just didn't think the animations with the hot dog are that, that. Maybe if they had something a bit more out there. I could have, and you know, kind of absurdist. I could have maybe lent towards the uh, the hot dog, but I'm gonna have to go with Spiro. But to be honest, even this one, I think it's close. <laughs> not not as close as the Greaser Cafe and and Deuce, but I think this one's close too. Because for me, Spiro just I wasn't impressed by him. It was just kind of like meh, you know. Uh, same with the Doctor Hot Dog. It was just kind of meh. Um, so yeah, uh, another one for Springfield Choppers. So obviously we've got uh, one for Hot Diggity Dough. And two for choppers so far. So, moving on, we've got buildings. So, Spiro's pretty nice looking. Uh, well, it, it's an it's an okay looking building. I, I like the little car, the bike spots in front. That's a nice touch. Uh, yeah, I like how you know it's got that rough feel to it. The, the the S is obviously missing, but it kind of fits the location of you know what it is. And then um, how do you do? I hate the meatball factory. It's just so dull and disgusting. I know this one's dull. But, like, at least there's a reason as to why this one's dull. And I think there's parts of it that kind of pop out. The, the You know, the the, the 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 missing S and all that. But this one's just boring. Although this one looks dull. This building to me is boring. It's just very drab, ugly colours. The shape of it is just kind of ugly. Not too keen on the Meatball Factory, to be honest. But the Homer Schnitzel is... It just pops. I love that building so much. And I think just this building alone beats Spiros for me. So... Obviously, I'm gonna give it to, uh, gonna have to give it to Hot Diggity Dough, but it's not based on quite well. If it, let's say like this, if it was the Meatball Factory versus Spiros, Spiros would win. It's it's really just down to the Homer Schnitzel. I really like that building; it just pops out nicely. So yeah, I'm gonna have to give it to Hot Diggity Dough, which is two for two. So it all comes down to the decorations, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, it does. It does. One, one, one. Two, yeah. Comes down to the decorations. So, what do we got? We got the bicycle graveyard in um, Springfield Choppers, as well as Homer's bike with the little animation, and you got the death ball there too. So, uh, yeah. I'm not too keen on the bicycle graveyard. Uh, I do, if anything, I think it's a, it's just the way it is. I, it's just kind of difficult-ish to, to decorate around. I mean, it just kind of sits there, and it's just not very nice-looking. Plus, it's an inclusion in this event. It was a bit random, so uh, obviously they tied it in somewhat, but yeah, just a bit wild. Homer's bike, I like for the most part. I mean, it, it's 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 one of those decorations, which is just, you know, 
on its own, it's kind of n- not much. But with the animation, it kind of it makes up for it. So, uh, yeah, I like that one. Uh, the Death Ball, I was very disappointed with. The fact it doesn't have an animation. It's cool that they gave an animation to the bike. But I really, really would have liked it if they gave an animation to the Death Ball. I, I hope in the future they maybe rectify this. Because, um, yeah, I just think it's really disappointing that there's no, you know, iconic animation from that film. Uh, from the movie. So, yeah. And then, moving on. We've got Hot Diggity Dough, the hot dog stand, which I I think is just fine, you know, uh, and the Acne Grease Co., which I think is fine. Now, there's just nothing standout about this, you know, it's it's a, a standard hot dog stand, which I think is good. I, I like having things like this, but there's nothing, you know, standout about it. And the Grease, Acne Grease Co. truck is just, again, it's fine, it's cool to have, and especially considering it obviously appeared in the episode The Grease Factory appeared in. But, again, it's nothing standout about it. So, it's it, it's tricky. It is really tricky, this one. I think it's about on par. But I ended up going with some, you know, decorations that I think... Um, so, the only one... So, the hot dog stand you could kind of use in, in an everyday decoration. If you're doing, like, some sort of park, you could chuck it in there. But the Acne Grease Co. truck, you can't really use as an everyday decoration, really. Uh, and then I tried to think of it from this standpoint... None of these you could use in that, but the Death Ball is kind of like one of those standout decorations. Even without the animation on its own, it, it kind of stands out. And Homer's bike is pretty cool, plus it comes with an animation. So, I unfortunately, again, a really, really tight one. I've given it to uh, Springfield Choppers, meaning the winner is Springfield Choppers. It's not a great update, really isn't. But when you compare the stuff in Hot Diggity Dough to the stuff from Springfield Choppers... I think it really kind of... I like the quirkiness and the weirdness of Hot Diggity Dough. But really, it's not that great of an update. There's certainly better things from, you know, this. But I think it's about on par, to be honest, with Springfield Choppers. Obviously, last episode with... uh, what was it? New Year, New You, and Red Alert. It was there was an obvious winner. It was obviously um, New Year, New You. This one I think was ver- a bit tricky because I think both updates are kind of like that. They're, they're completely different updates, but they are at the same time kind of on similar standing. I think they're they're about as good as each other, about as bad as each other. Uh, so yeah, that's it for this little video. Um, just a quick update for the end of this. Um, the Simpsons writing the Simpsons script thing. I do want to eventually get rid, of, get to that. I just haven't got the time at the moment. So hopefully I can maybe do another live stream of that sometime soonish. Maybe next week. It might be the week after though. Uh, but I do want to get back to it. And also, uh, I'm not going to be doing the Simpsons idea for the Simpsons comic idea that they had in the Discord. I'm going to just be doing my Treehouse of Horror. I'm going to start that and get that out ASAP. Sorry about all the Walking Dead videos as well. Uh, I'm wanting to like... Uh, get to episode 300 of that before the season comes back, which I'm is looking like it's not going to happen anyway, but I'm trying my best to make that happen, so uh, yeah. Anyway, see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.